Another phase of reopening Rhode Island involves easing travel restrictions. Starting Monday, travelers coming into the state will no longer have to quarantine for 14 days. That's unless they're coming from states with stay at home or shelter in place orders or if they're traveling internationally. As Eyewitness News reporter Caroline Goggin tells us, it's a positive change for the state's tourism industry that has taken a huge hit during this pandemic. According to tourism leaders in Rhode Island, hotel occupancy in Providence in April was about 12 percent. It's typically around 72 percent. Last month in Newport, hotel occupancy was less than 10 percent. It's usually about 85. The coronavirus has been catastrophic for the tourism industry. The worst that we've ever seen, at least since they've been tracking data. Kristen Adamo is president and CEO of the Providence Warwick Convention and Visitors Bureau. They typically book events in the Providence metro area but they haven't been able to recently. And she says that's costing the state. That dollar amount is $48.6 million in direct spending that the state of Rhode Island has lost. Down in Newport, Evan Smith estimates the pandemic has cost the city by the sea $300 million in tourism revenue. And we're going to be rebuilding one customer at a time. And those early pioneers, the first to come out and travel, I think will be the ones that go back and report to other people and say, you know what? It's okay out there. Those travelers could soon be coming to the ocean state as some travel restrictions are lifted when phase two starts on Monday. People are a little nervous about flying, so they'll be able to drive here throughout the summer. Or I know I've been starting to look at how to market, um, ramp up marketing in that drive market. In Newport, they've been doing the same thing. But Smith points to a recent study done by research group Longwoods International. It found 77% of people planning to travel in the next six months will change their plans. He is a message for those people. The marketplace has never been cleaner. So you have got great specials, less crowds, a very clean environment. It's a good time to travel if you're ready to travel. We're small and mighty here in Rhode Island, so um, I'm confident that we'll get through this. We've got March Madness next year. We have a really big slate of meetings and conventions. We just got to get to 21. Adamo and Smith said right now the two most important things for travelers are safety and value. They said right now hotels are quickly working to adopt best safety practices. They're also working to create packages for their customers. I'm Caroline Goggin, Eyewitness News.